Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Treatment Placement Specialist at Acadia Healthcare and U.S. Army Veteran, Josh Montz. So there's a world-renowned psychiatrist and Holocaust survivor named Viktor Frankl who said in his book, Man's Search for Meaning, that without suffering and death, human life cannot be complete. And despite the truth in that statement, it can be a very difficult concept to internalize in the face of trauma. Almost 10 years ago, my unit was conducting a dismounted patrol in eastern Baghdad when we were engaged by an enemy sniper. The bullet first severed the aorta of my senior non-commissioned officer and then ricocheted into my upper right thigh and severed my femoral artery. Although I remained conscious for about 30 minutes, I ultimately bled out and died. I woke up about two days later in the green zone to learn that I had flatlined for 15 minutes straight. I learned that I had survived and Staff Sergeant Marlon Harper did not. But the experience of dying pales in comparison to the ensuing decade-long emotional struggle that I would go through as I sought to find meaning in a second life. Despite the success that I was having in my career, internally I was collapsing. I struggled with depression. I know what it feels like to be crippled by the effects of anxiety. And I fought my way out of more than one suicidal spiral. But as I look back on the 10 years, there's a very clear pattern that has emerged. And that is that even in the deepest throes of my depression, at the very weakest points of my life, I was never alone. There was always someone in my life who had the strength and courage to plant healing seeds inside of my mind that would ultimately start to grow. They gave me the gift of feeling that I was not alone anymore, and it's a gift that I'm happy to pay forward today at every opportunity I get. See, my experiences and the suffering that were inherent to them shaped who I am as a person today. They broadened my emotional bandwidth, so to speak. They gave me the capability to empathize with people on a very deep level very quickly and serve them as the guiding hand as they walk down the healing path. But whether I'm doing that on the streets of Baghdad or the streets of Los Angeles doesn't really make much of a difference to me because trauma does not discriminate and it comes in many shapes and forms. The nature of our traumatic experiences may be very different person to person, but the symptoms that manifest from them can often be very similar, particularly when we look at them through the lens of deeper moral injuries, such as toxic shame. And the problem we're facing is significant. At any given time in the United States, one in five people is suffering from some type of behavioral health condition, and less than half of them seek treatment for it. And what that tells us is that at any given time, we have millions of people embedded in our communities across the United States who are quietly suffering with their pain inside of their own minds. And what's worse is even when people do work up the strength to seek treatment, they can find the process of doing so very convoluted and confusing. Running a simple internet search for a local therapist is going to yield hundreds of results with different types of providers, different types of treatment modalities, and a slew of acronyms that even a trained professional can't understand. And let's never forget that when people are seeking help in the behavioral health field, they are typically doing so at the most vulnerable and fragile points in their life. A bad experience with a therapist can turn somebody away from the treatment process forever. So it is absolutely imperative that we make every effort to connect people seeking treatment to the right provider or the right treatment program the very first time they seek help. And fortunately, Acadia Healthcare, which is now the largest behavioral health organization in the world, has taken the lead in filling that critical gap. We have in place a team of national treatment placement specialists regionally across the United States who serve as the critical bridge between the patients and the providers that can help them. 
We spend our days building relationships with clinicians within our respective communities. We learn their personalities, we learn their strengths and their weaknesses, and we learn what they specialize in. And at any given time, anyone can reach out to us for a targeted placement recommendation that is gonna be based on your clinical need. If you or someone you love is considering seeking treatment, I welcome you to reach out to us at treatmentplacementspecialists.com where you can enter your zip code and the contact information of your local TPS will appear. We have the skill and the experience to guide you and we have the empathy and the perspective needed to connect with you. And there is nothing more important in overcoming these types of wounds than the power of human connection. I am Joshua Montz, and I'm a US veteran. Thank you.